What's going on everybody, Jonathan here, exercise specialist here at the Burke Fitness Center, here to share with you a very brief safety message. Now before engaging in any sort of exercise activity, make sure that you follow up with your doctor to ensure that exercise is appropriate for you. Now when working out at home, it's important that you heed to certain safety guidelines. That being, have an adequate amount of space around you. Make sure that you're working out on a firm and stable surface, that being hardwood or tiled floor. Try to avoid working out on a rug as this can bunch up and lead to slipping or tripping. To that same effect, wear sneakers and try to avoid socks, sandals, or flip-flops. Have the right equipment around you as well. Have a water bottle close by. Have a chair close by. A chair can be used as an added base of support or if you need to take a seat during that exercise. Also, dumbbells aren't always required, but if you want some sort of replacement to it, you can use cans of soup, a water bottle, a container of oil, or even a heavy booklet of some sort. Now, most importantly, listen to your body. If you experience any of the following symptoms, shortness of breath, dizziness, or rapid heartbeat, stop the workout, reassess and determine whether or not it is safe to continue with the exercise but above all err on the side of caution with that being said enjoy your workout what's going on everybody jonathan here exercise specialist here at the burke fitness center and today we are going to be doing a strictly resistance band workout now i have here a tube resistance band but you could also use a theraband make sure that you choose a resistance that's adequate for you. Nothing too hard, but nothing too easy either. Today's gonna to be strictly standing as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start with bicep curls. You're gonna put the resistance band underneath your foot. You're gonna place your hands outward, stand up nice and tall, and we're gonna just curl it up. We're gonna do 10 reps of these. One. Bring your attention to your breathing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, for the next one, we're going to be doing lateral raises. Chest up, shoulders back. What you're going to do is raise the arms to the side like so. One. Breathe out on every one, two. And it's important that you don't go too high. You don't want to hurt yourself. Just go to where the tension allows. Good. This is four, five, six. Breathe out, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10. Very good. Now, Okay, so now we're gonna do bent over rows. You're gonna put both feet on the resistance band, just like so, okay? You're gonna bend over from the hips. You're gonna hinge it over from the hips. From here, you're gonna keep your back straight, chest up, you're gonna row it in like so. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10, good. So now we're gonna do tricep extensions. So you're gonna put the resistance band in your hands like so, okay? You're gonna put one hand out in front of you. You're gonna pin the other arm to the side of your body. From here, what you're gonna do is extend the arm down like so. The only moving part here is my elbow. I'm just extending my arm like so. Okay, let's call that four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Now we're gonna do the other side respectively. Arm up just like so, keep that arm straight. Pin the other arm to your body, and you're going to extend downward. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Okay, so for the next one, what we're gonna do we're called ribbon tears. So you're gonna keep the arms in front of you, grab the resistance band just like so, pick an adequate distance. The further out you grab it, the least tension that you'll be experiencing. You're gonna keep your chest up, head high. You're going to tear it apart like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Similar to the, to the ribbon tears, we're going to do something called a lat pull down. So you're going to bring your arms up above you like so. And you're going to tear the ribbon apart. You're going to bring it downward, okay? Just like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Good job. Now we're gonna be doing squats. So you're gonna put the resistance band underneath both feet here, or one, whatever you so choose to. You're going to rack the resistance band in your hands just like so and bring it in front of you. Okay, in this position, you're going to practice good form by keeping your weight in your heels, hinging at the hips, allowing the knees to bend, but keep your chest up as well. You're gonna come up just like so. One. Okay, you're gonna breathe out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, good. That was part one. Now we're gonna be doing a second set of everything that we just did, and we're gonna just hop right into it, okay? We're gonna start off with bicep curls. You're gonna put one foot on the resistance band just like before, and we're gonna bang these out. You're gonna come up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, remember to breathe, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Now the next one is lateral raises. Foot remains on the resistance band, chest up. Keep your attention to your breathing and you're going to lift your arms up and bring it down nice and slowly with control. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe it out, nine, breathe it out, 10, good. Next exercise is the bent over row. Just like before, same rules apply. Both feet on the resistance bands. You're going to bend over from the hips, hinge over, keep the back straight, and you're going to pull it in, squeeze the shoulder blades in the back. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Those were bent over rows. Now we're gonna do tricep extensions. You're gonna grab the resistance band just like so. One arm faces the ceiling in front of you. You're gonna pin the other arm to your body and you're going to extend just like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Good job. Switch it over, respectively. Other arm faces the ceiling and the other arm is pinned to your body like so and you're going to extend the arm downward. One, only thing that's moving here is the elbow. Two, breathe it out. Three, breathe it out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job, okay. Ribbon tears now. Hold the resistance band in your hand just like so. Arms in front of you. Bring your attention to your posture and your breathing and you're going to tear it apart. Bring it to your chest. One, keep those arms straight. Two, three, it's the shoulders that do the work here. Four, breathe out. Five, breathe it out. Six, breathe it out. Seven, eight, two more nine and 10. Okay, for the next one, we're gonna keep the resistance band in our hands. We're gonna do a lat pull down. So you're gonna bring your arms up to the ceiling and then you're going to tear it apart like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Good job. And the last exercise for today is squats. So both feet on the resistance band. Okay, you're gonna bring the handles up by you. You're gonna rack it nice and tightly to your body. And what you're gonna do, keeping form in mind, is you're going to keep your weight in your heels Hinge over at the hips, allow the knees to bend, and keep the chest upwards, just like so. If keeping the resistance band in your hands while doing this is too much of a challenge or it causes you to lose your form, then I would advise that you do this without a resistance band. Three, four, breathe out on the way up, come down, breathe out five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Good job. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was the standing resistance band exercise class. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a workout. My name's Jonathan, exercise specialist here. Thanks for watching. Until next time.